Hey everybody, it's your girl Tennessee Noy. Yep, I'm back with a video. And today's video is going to be about a promise I made to Sue Chef and part of my childhood history. Yeah, when I was a kid, we used to make ice cream. My mom used to make ice cream. And we had that hand cranker. Luckily, by the time I got old enough to know better, we got the electric one. Yeah. Good thing we did. Well, I promised Sue Chef that I would make ice cream. Mm-hmm. And Sue Chef's favorite ice cream is strawberry. So that's what we're going to do. And vanilla, she says. And so, that's what we're going to do. So I was in the shed, and look what I found. The ice cream maker. Mm hmm. Looks like coming from the past, but it's not. Mm hmm. It's electric. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't doing no cranking. Mm mm. Mm mm. Them days of cranking is, ooh, more you gone. Yeah. So, let's get to this ice cream. Oh. We used to get that pudding and sauce. For those who don't know what pudding and sauce is, it's some cake and, um, I'll be back. I'll show you what it is. Okay. We're going to go ahead and mix our ice cream custard up. And this ice cream custard we need. Yeah. Sous chef is mixing. Ice cream custard. Mm -hmm. Ah, give me that one. Mm -hmm. Sous chef. Okay. So what you're going to need is a tablespoon. And she's going to need a fourth spoon. And she's going to need a cup. Because this is a half a cup. She's going to need two of these for her sugar. Okay. The I recipe calls. Jars. It clicks open. I have a lot. Hold on. So she's going to need, uh-uh, put that one back. Put that one back. Because she's going to need three of these. Hold on. Let me make sure it's three. Move it over. Go back the other way. Okay, that's good. You're going to need three of those. She needs three tablespoons of flour. Okay, hey, get another one. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Get it up and then smooth it over, just like Nana just showed you. Uh -uh, you kind of dip down in there, get a little bit more up there. Uh-uh-uh-uh, no, no. No, put it back up there. You got to get some more. You got to push it the other way. You have to, you have to feel the spoon. Okay, now push it that away. No, stop, stop. Push it that away with your finger. So you can cover, no, 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 stop, mama. Put it back in there. Okay, now stop. Nope. Smooth it that way. Okay, stop. Okay. And get one more. That's two. You need one more. You need one more. Okay. Get a little more. And right, you're going to pull it off. Now smooth it. Okay. Okay, there's three. Okay. Now we need a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. You need one of those. 
and get, get it from here. Smooth it. Uh-uh, you gotta get a full spoon. Take your time. No, no, no. Wait a minute, wait, wait, stop, slow down. Slow down, because you gotta get the right, can't put too much salt in it. No, 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 no. No, scoot, scoot it in, put it in. Get some up on it. Turn like that. Okay, stop right there. Now smooth it with your finger over the over here. Cover the spoon. Cover the spoon. Uh uh. Not with your finger. You lit. No. Okay. Okay. Now put that in there. Okay. That's enough of that. Now we need. You need to wash your hands. Hold on. Let two chef wash your hands. Okay, so Chef's back. She had to go wash her hands. Okay, now we got our flour in. We got our salt in. Now we got to get a cup of sugar. You need two cups of those. Take your time. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Turn it up. No, see, you got to... You, you, you got to turn, turn it sideways. No, don't do it like that. Don't do it like that. No, get back down there. Look, look, watch Nana. Look, look what Nana do. Like that. Huh. One. Pour it in there. Now get one more scoop and that'll be your one cup. One cup of sugar. Uh-uh, just fill the whole cup. No, no, fill the whole cup. Go back in. Scoop and fill the whole cup up. There you go. Go ahead and pour it in. Okay, that's one cup of sugar. That's enough. We don't need no more. Okay, let's see what else we need. Now we need two and a half cups of milk. Okay, where's your spoon at? Here's your wooden spoon. Stir that around so you can kind of incorporate this all. Not wildly. Mix all that up a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to put two and a half cups of sugar. This is two right here. We're going to use a liquid measuring cup now. This is two. So you want to fill it up to that mark right there. You see right there? I'll pour it in. Okay. You got to pay attention to what you're doing. Take your time. Take your time. A little bit more. A little bit more. Got to get on up to that two. A little bit more. Keep going. You ain't up to the two yet. Let Nana help. Okay, that's your two. Pour it in slowly now where you don't spill it. Okay, now you need a half a cup. Now, this is a half mark. Let's see where the half mark is. Right here. That's the half mark down here. So that's where you need that. Up. And I tell you, when. Keep going. Keep going. A little bit more. Right there. Right there. There you go. Yeah. Now mix it. Hold your pan still. You hold it for me. Hey, let Nana give you a whisk. Try that. We're going to speed this up. We just need the two chefs to do her mixing.
off camera. Sorry about that. Off camera, we're going to add two eggs to this after we heat it. Since Chef is too young to get on the stove. So Nana's going to heat this for and then we're going to temper it with two eggs. Okay? We'll be back. But we, um, we got, um, we started ahead a little bit. So we got something ready to chill. But, yeah. So I'm just letting you know, Nana's going to put the two eggs in and temper for but she's got some ready to freeze now. So let's go over here to the freezer. Okay. In here, we've already poured it in. To that mixture, we added some strawberries. We cut them up. Uh, what sous chef didn't eat. Add a drop of uh, red food coloring. Just to help the pink out. Yeah. And we have some ice around the sides. So now we're going to put the top on it. You have to kind of put some of your ice in before. So it could stand up. Let's see if I remember how to put this on. kind of line it up here. Right there. Okay. So and then you got to lock it down. Hold on. Let me plug in. Okay. Now we got to put some more ice in it. Fill it up around the edges. Let's shake a little salt in Shake a little salt in around the edges. Now, hold on. You got to have some ice cream salt. And you got to put your top on before you put this ice cream salt because you don't want it in your ice cream. Okay, we're going to shake some. This helps break that ice down. Okay, put, the, put some more ice in it, Mama. Or oh, sous chef. Hold on. And we're going to fill the ice up. I'm letting Nana kind of pick it up. Push the ice around in there. Yeah, push it on around. Gonna take a couple of bags at his ice. Okay, push it around. Push it around in there. Get all the way onto the other side. All right. And what's going to happen is. This is going to go until it starts to hesitating and don't want to turn, then the ice cream is froze. 
So, let's give it a shot. Let's turn it on. It's going to be loud, so we're not going to... We're going to come back here and there. Hold on. Okay. Kind of shaking, I apologize. Okay, you want to turn the button on, sous chef? It's not very loud right now. And there we go. You take a little more salt around it. What we'll keep doing is adding salt and ice till our cream is, is ready. Yeah. We'll be back. Uh, uh, all right. Look at the ice cream. Yeah, strawberry ice cream. <clears throat> okay, this is the mixture that me and sous chef mixed up. Now I'm going to bring this up to temperature. Now I don't want it to boil. I just want it to simmer. Just kind of heat. And when that gets to it, a simmer, not a bowl, then I'm going to temper my eggs in there. Now in this pot right here, I got three tablespoons of flour, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, one cup of sugar, two and a half cups of milk, and I'm bringing that to a simmer. Then I'm going to temper two eggs in there. And then that's going to be my custard. And then I'm going to let that cool. And when that cools for two hours, then I'm going to add my heavy two cups of heavy whipping cream in it. And then I'll, that'll be my custard for my um, for the ice cream. And here you want to continue to stir. It won't take it long to get thick. In this bowl right here, I'm going to go ahead and crack my eggs. I'm putting two whole eggs in there. I'm going to go ahead and beat my two eggs. I'm going to get them ready. And this is your basis for your ice cream. You got to constantly stir it. Because you don't want it to stick. And you don't want it to boil. You just want to kind of simmer a little bit. And you start seeing that bubble around the edges.
and you know it's hot. Just want to get it good and hot enough where you can temper these eggs in here. And then you want to cook it for about another, <coughs> excuse me, another minute to cook your eggs in there. Now that strawberry ice cream, that was two chefs ice cream. Yeah. I gave you a glimpse of it, but I had to deliver it, deliver it around the corner. As I promised. And she had to go before I had it finished freezing. And you want this medium to low heat when you first start. I can kind of feel the heat and kind of feel it starting. So I'm going to turn it down just a hair because I don't want it to get. To start thickening too fast. And once I add these eggs in it, that's going to start it to really thickening. That's going to bring your custard together. Here we just really are trying to get our milk and our... Now if you like your ice cream sweeter, add a little more. And I think I'm going to add a little vanilla to this. Let me see if I got some vanilla down here. Yeah, see, so it's getting hot. I'm just going to drop just a little vanilla in here. Give or take a teaspoon. And you can see the smoke on it. Now I'm going to pull it over here off the eye because I don't want it to get to a bowl. Get a little hot liquid in at a time. Because you don't want scrambled eggs. A little bit more. Now I'm 
put on it is pour and you stir it the whole time put it back on the eye So it's going to start taking it up from here. Still again, you don't want to bring it to no bowl. You just want a, a good simmer. It's going to start thickening a little bit. Then I'm gonna bring it off. Just about a minute. Starting it thicken. seconds and I'm going to take it off you just want to cook that egg in some Temp yeah I'm getting ready to cut the Cut my eye off. That's what the custard looks like. See it's thickening. Okay, now I'm gonna take that off. <clears throat> okay, I'll be right back. Okay, this is our custard. And we have to let this sit and cool for two hours. Then we're gonna add two cups of heavy whipping cream. Now, I have some already ready. They were getting ready to pour in the um, ice cream maker and this right here is chocolate and it's already cold because I had it in the refrigerator waiting so hold on I'm gonna pull in the ice cream maker hold on okay I'm getting ready to add the chocolate in Add a paddle in. Put the top on. And once again. My 
like that. I'm gonna add some more ice. I got some ice in there as it is. Give me a little hammer so I can break it up. And you gotta keep ice on it. You gotta keep checking salt on it. That salt helps melt that ice down. a past time favorite of kids playing with this ice. Taking the salt on it. The salt helps break down the ice. Now it's not the kind of salt, <clears throat> not the kind of salt that you can eat. This is ice cream salt. Yeah. So we'll be back. Okay, we're going to add a little more salt to it. And add some more. Add some more ice to it.
Okay. Still waiting on the ice cream. Shouldn't be long for this one. But some plans have changed. I said I was going to tell you about the pudding and sauce. Now, pudding and sauce, it's a, it's a simple cake. Um, you know, when they wanted something sweet, they would make a simple cake and then make a sauce head of, add some flavor to the sauce. That's, it wasn't so much the cake, it was the sauce. Yeah. You would eat a vanilla flavoring or a lemon flavoring or... It was the sauce. Mm -hmm. The pudding was just a simple cake. Now, old Tennessee, no. I'm going to make a scratch one. I'm going to make a box one. But I was going to make some homemade sauce. But... My plans didn't change. I'm going to save the pudding and sauce for another video. Um, and I'll explain that. Because I'm doing triple batch of ice cream. And I've already done sous chef strawberry ice cream. And I got the chocolate in there. Now, the pudding and sauce it's not going to be good with chocolate ice cream. It's going to be good with the vanilla. And um, it's late. And it's pouring down rain. Well, it's not real late. But it's pouring down rain. Mm. I don't want to go out there in the rain. Because mm -mm. I need some more ice. Yeah. It takes a lot of ice to freeze the ice cream. And then, um, my grown son is not here with my other car. Mm hmm So, I'm going to save the pudding and sauce for another video. One that's coming up real soon. Mm hmm And I'll pair it with some ice cream. Yeah. Get some more homemade ice cream. So this one was mainly about the Thomas the Sea Chef and the strawberry ice cream. Yeah. And then she wanted vanilla. And I might as well make some chocolate since I was going that way. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. This is about the homemade ice cream. I looked at a lot of videos about ice cream. And I've seen a lot of them say, oh, this is my mama's recipe and daddy used to make this recipe and as I tell you all these recipes have been tweaked yeah they're homemade and once you make it they become your homemade yeah to everybody tweaks and I'm sure if grand great grandmama made them back in way way back mm -hmm. And as modern time got going, something different was added and added and added. Yeah. And every time you added something, it became your homemade. Your truth. Mm-hmm. Now, my recipe, I got this recipe off of watching several different recipes. Mm-hmm. So I've been making it a while. It's worked for me. Yeah. It's my truth. I understand it. Yeah. There was a combination of several different people. A little my mom, a little this, a little that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this little piece of paper, it'll go in a box somewhere. And maybe Sue Chef said, this recipe was handed down by my nana. It's an old family recipe. Yeah. And she'll tweak it two or three times, and maybe her grandkids, they'll tweak it. And they'll say the same thing. Yeah.
It's the funny thing about getting old. When you're young, you say to yourself, Ooh, I don't want to get old. Ooh, old people, man, old people. When you look around one day, you're one of them old people. And there's an old person looking back at them young people. Ooh, they're sad. Was I sad when I was young? Probably so. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to be one of them young people today. Mm -mm. And they probably say they wouldn't want to be one of us old people today. Yeah. I ain't mad we getting old. Some didn't make it this far. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with getting old. Mm -mm. See, when you get old, say what you want to say. Do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to be apologetic for it. Mm -mm. Don't care. Mm -mm. But we polite with it. And Sue Chef lives around the corner. Couple blocks. Mm -hmm. It's pouring down rain. And then Nana got that ice cream froze. Mm -hmm. Put y'all on pause. Got my coat. Went around the block. Took that ice cream. Came back. And push the video again. Mm -hmm. Did you miss me? Yeah, probably not. And I see it when I got back here. I'm going to go rest. I'm not going to do anything. And this chocolate ice cream is for thing one and thing two. Yeah. Can't disappoint them either. Ain't that kind of grand? Mm -mm. Oh, excuse me. Ain't that kind of numb? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just rambling. Waiting on my ice cream to stop. It's getting ready to stop. Because, see, when we were kids, when we were doing the hand cranky, man. You didn't find out that it was ready till your arm got ready to fall off. Till the last child got tired of turning. Wow. Just kept saying, anybody who else? <laughs> By that time, we were all gone and run off and play. Anybody want no more of that? Call us when it's ready. Mm -hmm. We'll come back then. Yeah. It was some kind of ice cream. It's another funny thing. Your memory and stuff like that get real sharp. Yeah. I can taste the ice cream from when I was a child. Just thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Me and my sister were saying that um, back when we were kids and they would have the baseball games, you know, the community would play. Somebody would pop up popcorn, have a little stand, and a little greasy popcorn. There wasn't no microwave. It was popcorn over the fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some hot dogs, some hamburgers. Yeah. Popcorn about a nickel. Yeah, popcorn was a nickel back then. Mm -hmm. Got a nice size bag. And it wasn't 1920, that was in the 70s. Mm. Yeah. They had lights and stuff and cars and... Yeah. But, um... This time right here... Yeah, this is when I was getting ready to get out of school and 
Summertime getting ready to come, man. We couldn't wait. Yeah. And even when I was a young adult, had my kids and yeah, take some trips. Yeah, I take my kids to Disney. Yeah, we had ball. We used to call them Grace Wall Vacation. Yeah, me and my girlfriends, my sisters, we gather up all the kids, we get bands, and yeah, we all go with bands. Mm hmm. Pack them up. Yeah. When I was a kid, my mom used to take us to the amusement parks and. Yeah. We look forward to that in, in the summer. Skating. <coughs> Bicycle riding. The kids can ride the bikes in their neighborhoods and nobody shot at them. Mm -mm. So it was a village. Everybody watched everybody's kids. So you could be two streets over. Mm -hmm. Do something over there. They tell. Before you got home. Mm -hmm. Man, it's crazy how it comes out now. Getting shot for a ball being in the yard. Getting shot for being accident accidentally getting in the wrong car. Check the ice cream. Hey, Dave, Yeah. That lets you know it's gonna stop. Yeah. Let's just see what we're talking about. Okay. Here come the chocolate. This chocolate right here. The 
It's hard to tell it's chocolate, but it's chocolate. Oh, it's got my hand froze. nice and froze at the bottom. Chocolate. Use this spoon as a taste. Won't put it back. Mmm. Nice and chocolatey. Yeah, that part there, hold on.